Of course, in the Tibetan tradition, there is a lot of emphasis on having a teacher and a teacher-disciple relationship. Um, but generally, from a kind of a, a personal transformation point of view, um, probably what is more important is to have a kind of a sangha rather than a teacher. Um, because you need, you know, we are social creatures. And um, when you have a community that you can relate to and who share the same kind of practices and your aspiration, then somehow you feel that you are being kind of lifted together. And uh, I mean, you know, and, and sometimes the, the, the good image is when you cross a river, if you have a couple of people holding hands, you know, you are stronger in crossing a river. So Sangha is like this, you know, Sangha is your, your peers uh, and, um, and the Sanghas can also be, um, in a sense, kind of your teacher as well. I mean, of course, when you, if you find a teacher, it really makes a difference. But this is a kind of a luxury, actually, particularly in modern world, to have a personal teacher. Um, so, so one shouldn't wait until you have found a teacher <laughs> before you begin your spiritual journey, because you can go quite far you know, on your own by reading. And also, you can relate to someone like His Holiness as a teacher by taking him as your source of inspiration. So in that sense, you don't need to have a personal relationship in the sense of reciprocity, but you can have a personal relationship in the sense of an ideal of a teacher. Um, so that the, the whole role of teacher in the, in the Tibetan tradition is, it, it's, it's a very you know, complicated question. Um, but for spiritual journey, I think, I don't think you sh one should wait until you have a personal teacher that you can ask a question on a daily basis or, a, uh, but you can, uh, but you can be, it's nice to have at least some people around you that you are, you know, you can meditate together or meet once in a while, have a discussion group. Um, so, um, and also sometimes people tend to think that, you know, in order to have a teacher, if you're in the Tibetan tradition, you need to have a, someone in robes or someone with a Rinpoche title. But that's kind of, you know, being attached to a label, you know. I mean, you can have teachers who are layperson. So, uh, you know, a teacher is, whether or not someone is your teacher is, you know, to a large extent, dependent on your own personal attitude and your own perspective on that individual whom you take on as a teacher. So it's, it's sort of a, it's a more complicated question. I mean, in the Tibetan cultural setting for the Tibetans, then it's a fairly straightforward issue. But in the West, it's a more complicated um, you know, question. <laughs> Tell